Okay, so quickly we're going to go over uh, front buckles, and what I mean by that is a lot of times folks will ha want to display their buckle on the front of the uh, strap uh, so that the audience can see it. Now this is a little bit of a give and take, but it looks really, really good, and it's certainly something worth exploring if that's what you want to do. So, uh, in order to calculate the distance the buckle should be from the front uh, pinhole of the strap, um, strap buttonhole, I'm sorry, um, you're going to need to put uh, the guitar on. It's important you choose the guitar that you want that strap for, because acoustic guitars, where the strap button mounts on an acoustic guitar is totally different from where it might mount on, say, a Stratocaster. So, the distance you're going to want from the uh, front strap buttonhole to where the buckle's going to live is going to vary quite a bit. So, uh, important things to consider there once you've got the guitar chosen and you've got it on is to decide where you want this part of the buckle to live. So, once you've figured out where that's going to be, you know, you've played a little bit, you've kind of got an idea where and how you're going to be using the guitar, then go ahead and mark that with a piece of masking tape, just basically tape off your strap, and remove the strap, measure from strap buttonhole to where that tape is, and that's where I'm going to locate the buckle. That measurement normally comes in somewhere between about 6 inches on up to maybe about 15 inches, depending on you know, the situation you're working with. So, if you get a, a measurement that's shorter than 6 or longer than 15, just double check it and make sure that that is in fact what you, where you want it to be, because that's going to make a, a big difference in, in where all this ends up. Another thing to uh, consider when you're doing a front buckle is that the amount of overall adjustment is going to be reduced, and maybe reduced by two or three inches. So your overall adjustment is going to be about maybe three to four inches as opposed to six to seven. If you're using, say, a Conway style buckle on the back end or this style buckle on the back end. And the reason for that is that if you get too short with it, this part of the strap is going to start traveling this way. And if, especially if you have a tip on the buckle uh, set, it's going to start wanting to swing into the instrument, and you, you definitely don't want that. That's part of the reason why Conway buckles don't necessarily make for great front buckles. They don't have a ton of control over this end of the strap. They're fine for the, the back end of the, of the strap, but if you want them in the front, it's not really the best choice and this style you know sort of pin buckle is going to be a much better choice because number one these buckles tend to look a lot nicer on the front and uh, number two they they tend to take more control over this part of the strap uh, another uh, thing about my straps that I make is that I make them so that you can take them apart and remove and replace the standard buckles that I put on them Standard buckles are usually these stainless steel buckles or these brass buckles, and then they'll put like a leather keeper on there. But if you have a nice old you know, buckle that you found at a flea market, or you know your grandfather had a beautiful old silver buckle you want to put on it, well, you can go right ahead. And that's basically it on the front buckles. Thanks.